Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Resident Evil. Remember, this is the non-talking version of the game. I'm trying to remember what it is that we did last. Oh, we just got this key. Okay, then. We're now going to walk around the mansion and begin... and begin using this key on all the doors that I can. This way, I no longer have to worry about carrying the key on me. All right, well, let's get that done. I don't intend to walk into any of those places. We won't be exploring any of those rooms. Well, we will eventually in this video, but to start with, we will not be. Again, we're just going to be walking around and using the key on all the doors. Okay, let's... Let's get started.
I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Wesker. Okay, everyone, let's refill our flask. This is the last use of it, Tim. We'll take it anyway. Ah, indeed, there is ammo and supplies here. Okay, let's leave the shotgun behind. Actually, we're going to leave a bunch of stuff behind because I just want to pick up everything on the ground and store it. Let's clear out our inventory at the moment. I want those three items. shells behind at the moment. We shouldn't need a full heal. And we'll take back our handgun and some bullets. There's only one more door we have to use the armor key on. And what's behind that door we can also use the old key on, which should free up some more inventory for us. The title was written as follows, Bring the Light of Truth to the Three Spirits. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the, of the picture.
door is stuck on something and won't budge. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security, and Steve from research. Steve was a big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized that some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched a swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry, and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. I'm going to head back to our safe room and drop some items off. Where I plan on going next is a room that has many items in it, and I don't want to ever have to come back there again, and I'd rather leave nothing in that room.
There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light.
You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place... Get your team out of here. Demons... everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay?
the beginning and last sections of the music are missing. We'll have to find the other half.
water tank smells like something once lived in there. Perhaps someone was using it to raise some sort of kind of creature. An unlocked case. It's full of various biological reports. Researchers will. There is a letter. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. S sorry Alma. I sit here trying to think of where to begin and how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well, and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion, but I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so accept these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus you were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them, pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I am sorry. Okay, everyone, I think we're gonna stop here. We've been playing for almost an hour. Thank you guys for watching. We're making it. It's a bit awkward for me in this one, being out of fuel entirely. This happens so very rarely to me. I like it. It's gonna increase the challenge. I'm getting unlucky with my shotgun headshots on the zombies as well. That's a, that's a shame. 
In the next episode, we'll be fighting two bosses off our two sub-bosses, I suppose we can call them. And then, hopefully, making our way to the next story bit for this game. Any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.